Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. Um, I was playing around with some colors and this is kind of what I came up with. It's just a light pink and a kind of darker pink, almost purple look. It's really simple and this is something that um, I've done before. But I just wanted to show you it can be used for Valentine's Day or any day that you just want something fun and funky and pink and purple and simple at the same time. Um, the lighting in here is not doing it any justice. I hope you guys can see it. Um, this is not the normal camera that I record on, so hopefully the next one will be a lot better. But here you go. Let's get started. I'm just going to prime my eye with NYX's Eye Shadow Base in Flesh Tone. And I'm only going to put this on the eyelid itself. I hear my kids' cartoons in the back. At least they're having fun and they're not arguing. I'm only putting this on the lid. I'm carrying the colors up a little bit. But I really don't need this too far up. There we go. Just enough. And if you feel, go ahead. Put it up there, but it really doesn't make a difference. Um, I've already primed my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So, that's why I'm not too worried about it. So next, I'm going to take the Sigma... E60, which is the flat shading brush, and I'm going to take my Coastal Scents Think Pink Palette, Ooh, mirror, Think Pink Palette, and I'm going to go in with this pink right here. It's a really soft matte pink, and I'm using a matte, on, matte colors on the eyelid because I'm actually going to have shimmer at the top. You know I love my shimmer. If you don't want fallout, then don't swipe it, especially when you're packing on the color right now. You just want to be like Thumper's foot and just pat this color all over the lid. And don't worry if it's not pretty and perfect because you are going to, um, we're going to blend it out with the other color, okay? I'm actually going to look in this mirror right here. Can you see? Let me move closer to you. There we go. And it's a very soft look if you want a more dramatic look. If you want more vibrant, go ahead and pack on the color. For this look, I am not. I'm just going to use very, very little bit. Just to get a hint of a pretty pale pink almost. That's what you basically want. Then... With my F55 brush, I am going to take and use my NYX palette. Where'd it go? I done lost a makeup palette. Oh, it's right in front of me. So this is the, did I say that right? Yep, this is the E55 brush from Sigma. I'm going to take my NYX Smoky Purple palette. Ooh, lighting. And I'm just going to go into this color right here. There we go. I'm going to take a little bit and I'm just going to work that on the outer rim. And then blend it in just a little bit. Oh, eyelash. And you can build up the color. Remember that. You can always build up the color to the intensity that you desire. And for this, I'm actually going to bring this over. And I'm also going to bring that in to blend in with the pink. I'm not doing a sharp V. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing a simple on the outer corner and then just bringing it over in and over 
in and over. See, it really is. I'll have pictures at the end to show the finished product because the lighting does not seem to be working with me today. that. Next, I am going to take my Sigma E25 brush, which is just a tapered blending brush, and I'm going to go in with Too Faced, and I'm going to use this color right here. I'm going to use that to help kind of blend these colors up to the brow bone. And this is where the shimmer comes in. You know I love my shimmer. You want to use windshield wiper motions when you do this too. If you don't want to use shimmer, just use any kind of matte uh, color that's closer to your skin color. Simple as that. Next, I am going to take the um, pencil brush, the E30, and this is what that looks like. And I'm going to go back into the Coastal Scents Think Pink palette, and I'm just going to grab this um, pink right here. It's a frosty kind of pink, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. With the same pencil, the same pencil, I'm going to go back into the same pink I used here on the lid, which would be this one, and then I'm going to use that under there. Now I'm only putting it right here. I'm not dragging it out to the back. And that's it. Then, I am going to take my glitter. As soon as I find where I put it, I left it over there. I'll be right back. I'm back. So with the MAC 212 brush, which is just a, a flat, stiff shading brush, I'm going to go in with my NYX glitter palette, and I'm going to take this glitter right here. And then I'm just going to put it under here. There we go. And now I'm going to line my eyes with Revlon Color Stay. I like this one because it's a felt tip. And it really, I get a lot of control on using this pencil or liner, however you want to call it. So, and I'm only going to line the outer part. I'm not going to go all the way in. It's 
simple like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. My kids are like really tearing something up out there. that's done we're gonna do some mascara now we're gonna go with our blush and our lips and we are gonna be done normally it doesn't take me this long to do this but of course because I'm talking through it it takes a whole lot longer Feel free to put mascara on your lower lashes. I actually don't like to, of course, if I'm working on a, a, another person, someone else, a client or family or friend, I will line the lower lashes. But personally, I don't like to line my lower lashes. Um, I'm going to take my fluffy angled blush brush and this is the F40 from Sigma. I don't remember what the other numbers were before they changed everything. I'm going to go back into my Too Faced palette and I'm just going to use this pretty pink right here and I'm going to grab a little bit on the brush. You can smile, some people like to smile, some people don't. You just want to take it out to look like I got a red ring around the head. That's pretty funny. And this does have shimmer, so if you do not <laughs> like blush with shimmer, you might not want to use this palette here. But you can use whatever blush you like. I like my shimmer. And yes, I like it on my cheeks as well. And for a highlight, I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go in with the lighter shade right there. I'm just going to take the tip of it and just get a little bit and then I'm just going to put that right up there. I know it looks shiny, right? But it's actually not as shiny as it looks. So, NYX gloss in amethyst, and it's just a really pretty color.
you enjoyed it and let me know if you try it out all this these products that I use are inexpensive um, my favorite favorite thing that I used in this video were the Sigma brushes and these are the make me crazy they are so soft they are so so soft and they work well they did not skimp on quality they're the same quality as the original brushes were um, and it comes with the two it's actually one but I dirty brushes the clean brushes or you can divide it eye brushes face brushes however you want to do that but thank you for tuning in and I hope you have a beautiful day bye